Okay, this is for Steve Savage, who's a, a newbie to Blender, over on Blender Artists, and it's asking questions about cylinders. Uh, I'll just get the screencast keys running. Boop. And for, let's increase the size of that font a bit. It's a bit better. <coughs> so let's add ourselves a cylinder. Uh, the first problem he had was that the cylinder didn't have a top and a bottom um, and he was under the impression that to add a top and a bottom he had to delete it and recreate it you don't, just go into edit mode go into edge mode these are your numbers 1, 2 and 3 so I press 1, 2, 3 so two is edges, and I'll hold Alt and click that, or can, that selects an edge loop, or I can select one, go edge, select, select loops, edge loops, so that, and I can just press F, and that'll create a face. So click, select, select loops, edge loops, F. Now on my system and on most people's and this is a Windows machine I'll just delete that face I can get to the edge quickly just holding down Alt and clicking on an edge so F uh, so that would be the first one and then he was on about loop cuts um, that's just Control R and that gives you a loop cut rolling your mouse wheel if you've got it will alter the number of cuts. I just click twice and you can get your options up here and change the number of cuts and that does that. Now another way of adding cuts is to add so if I just delete that and I'll do Control X to dissolve the edges Control R and I can add three edge loops like that or I can alternatively control R, add a single edge loop, then use bevel, which is control B, hold that up, make the number of segments two, and then if I want that exact, I can say change that from offset to 2%, make it 50%, and there I've got nice cuts there. Now if another thing you can do with these things is if I can I hold down control alt and click and that selects the edge ring or again I can click that go select loop edge ring then I can select loop edge loop and that selects all them and they basically all your segments now if you want less segments I can select that, select edge ring then I can check a deselect which deselects every other one select the edge loops then I can press delete and dissolve edges which is the same as control X and that's reduced the number of edges so I could do the same thing again uh, shortcut on Windows is Control Alt click and that gives me the edge ring again check a deselect and select the edge loops and I control X and that dissolves them so I'm now down to eight sides for this cylinder now say I've gone the other way and I want to add sides so again control alt click select edge loops right mouse button subdivide oh no wrong way around got that wrong sorry it should be these that you need to select so I'll select that 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 and that then do select edge loops now subdivide and as you can see I've now got extra ones in here. If I increase the number of cuts 
it's increasing the number of those. So as it stands at the moment you've still effectively got eight sides. And providing you have got in your add-ons your loop tools add-on enabled which you, in my opinion you should always have that enabled because it's so useful. I can just alt click, alt shift click, alt shift click, alt shift click, alt shift click. There are all your edge loops and now you can do this one at a time so alt click to get the edge loop, right mouse button loop tools, circle. Now I've got that assigned to a shortcut of Alt W for myself. So Alt click, Alt W, Alt click, Alt W, Alt click, Alt W, Alt click, Alt W. And there, then you've got a nice circle with more segments in. So we've selected 32 edges so that's 32 loops. Uh, another way you can add segments is if I just undo all of that. Right. Another way you could do it is you can select those faces, go to Edge, Mark Sharp, press N for the numeric panel in Item, set the increase to 1 come out of edit mode. Go into modifiers add a subdivision surface. Increase it to 2 or 3. And then you can apply that. Go in and press that and I'll just shift G and I'll select coplanar and press F to turn it into one face. Click shift G coplanar F. So we can hide them. Select the rest, press delete and choose limited dissolve. And set that say to one degree. and I can then actually get rid of the mean crease and I can also control E to pull up the edges clear the sharp. As you can see now you've got even more segments. Now if you don't set this to mean crease what will happen is when you add the subdivision you get that and that's why we add the crease. So I'll just take that down to one so again, select that one, select that one, set the crease to 1. So that way when I apply the subdivision, again, it's tidier. And now those are both select. Again, I could just press F, it turns them into the... And in this instance, I can just alt click and control X and get rid of that. So there's sort of various ways you can handle it. Also, if you want to add bevels, stick a loop in there and I'll scale that in. Actually, I won't scale that in. I'll do a control B. Control minus to shrink the size, scale it in. Now I can control bevel on that and I can do it this way. Or I can come in, create a vertex group assign that, I'll just call it middle, just assign it just to there and assign those points and then I can come in here pull up my bevel modifier, set it to vertex group middle come all the way out like that and then roll in the number of things and then I can add bevel which is based strictly on angle and 
that will do the other ones. And then just set that to shade smooth. Go into here under normals, activate my auto smooth. You've got a really tidy object. So that shows you how you can play about with cylinders. I hope it was of some use.